Josen. And I'm Marvin. And we're here to cook something special. And that is Pancit Canton. Pancit is a dish that really brings people together. And in so many ways, it represents the, the Filipino culture. It's something that a lot of people gather around on. A lot of people cook pancit in times of celebration. You see family serving pancit during birthdays, during holidays like the Christmas season. So just make sure that it's already cooked. Garlic and then onions. And we'll have, what's next? The uh, chicken. We'll put the chicken, yeah. Okay. With the chicken, it has to turn beige or at least no longer colored pink. Some people also use some shrimp, but if you're allergic to shrimp, you, know, you don't need to do that. Or some people would also use pork. A lot of people like to add squid balls in pancit just so they can add additional protein to the dish. The easiest way to, to describe fish balls are like they're like the seafood version of hot dogs. The trimmings of seafood, trimmings of squid, and then they mash it up. Nobody knows what's inside it, but it's yummy. So we're now going to put some soy sauce. Just, what do you think? Just Should eyeball it. Yeah. And this one around one tablespoon, right? Yeah. Pancit is actually a dish that was born out of cultural exchange between Chinese traders and Filipinos. And this was pre-Spanish colonial period. Um, and over the years, it has evolved into something that's very Filipino. A lot of Filipinos have adopted pancit and have used whatever ingredients are available in their, in their region or in their immediate area. Pancit came from the phrase piancit, and I might be saying it wrong, but uh, it's a Hokkien yeah. word for um, anything goes. What is it? Anything convenient. Anything yeah. convenient, whatever you can find around you. Yeah. So as soon as the chicken is ready, put your carrots, because that's the longest one to get cooked. Next will be the bell pepper, the sweet pepper and then snow peas. We call it chicharro in the Philippines. <laughs> Looks good already. The last veggie that we have here is the cabbage. So this is the most important, right? So apart from garlic, onions, um, to add flavor to the meat, you just need carrots and cabbage because that's going to add some crunch, some color in the dish. Um, and if you want to add some flavor, add celery, or in this case, sweet peppers. If you want to add more crunch to the dish, add snow peas. Yep. So you can you can kind of flow with it. And speaking of crunch, this is the best time for us to prepare the bowl and have the veggies separated because we're going to cook the noodles. That's right. Okay, just to make sure that we keep the crunch. You pour it, it's better. Yeah, at this point, if you add like other ingredients, let's say for example, cornstarch or a little sugar, some more soy sauce, maybe cauliflower, then you now have chop suey. <laughs> That's how we do chop soup. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to put the chicken broth. So now once it has already started to boil, you just put the pancit. Remember, do not cut it. It's part of the tradition that pancit has to be intact and you don't cut it. They say that um, if you eat pancit, you will have long life because of the noodles. You know, long noodles, long life. Buying the right noodles is key to cooking pancit because it's it's what defines pancit. It's called pancit canton because we're using pancit canton noodles. Can I use spaghetti noodles? No, do not use spaghetti noodles. No, yeah, just there's only one pancit canton. <laughs> For garnishing, we can put parsley and we can put celery as well. We use calamansi, which is a tiny citrus fruit. I actually grew this one. It's hard to come by here in the United States, but in the Philippines, you know, there's a lot of it. Okay, so the noodles are ready. Just pour in the veggies that we had stir-fried right. earlier. Let's, just enough there. for your stir-fry. Looks good. Yeah, that looks good. This is the part where you squeeze calamansi into yep. the pancit. It just brings out the flavor of everything. Let's taste this thing. How is it? Mm. <laughs> Tastes good? Yeah. The spaghetti of Filipinos. <laughs> it's good. Cheers. 